Mm. Well, guys, just smoking my little Pony Express corn cob from the Jury Mason. Is that upside down? Yeah. Sorry about this. I'm using a selfie stick just because I haven't got my stand with me and at work at the moment trying to find some shelter from the rain had some really crappy miserable weather just lately it's cold it's wet it's not good to be stood outside in this you can't enjoy it the pipe I mean Mm. So I sent the little Eaton pipe that I bought when I bought my Pony Express. I showed the two pipes, very similar, just basically the finish that makes them different. I sent the Eaton to um, my friend, my colleague. An email today saying that he'd got it. It's better. Got an email today saying that he'd got the pipe and that he was over the moon of it, said he'd put a smile on his face, which is always good. Um, and he asked me if. Um, if I was interested in a package of tobacco that his friend has got, he says it's a sealed pouch, probably German. Would I be interested? And I said, yeah, probably, yeah. Um, give me some details and let me know how much. So he sent me some pictures and straight away I thought that looks strange it's a bit it looks like it's brown paper it's got a very old sort of um, I think they call them wood print picture on there it looks like something from the 17th century to be honest um, Arnold uh, Boninger I think was the the name on there So, I looked at the photographs in detail. Ooh. Uh, looked closer at them, magnified the image. Noticed there was a, a pink seal on the packet, or paper seal looked very official. Didn't tell you what I was smoking, did I? I've got some Dunhill ready rubbed in here. And when I looked at the packet, I realized the seal was actually stuck on upside down. So I spun my, cap, my phone round and looked at it upside down. And then I noticed there was a watermark on it. And the watermark was a German Eagle with a swastika underneath. So I thought I'd better Google this packet and see what it's about. And it turns out it's actually World War II German army war rations um, that they'd send to the German army fighting on the front or wherever. And yeah, it's basically World War II uh, German tobacco for their troops. So I said to the guy, I said, look, this is probably unsmokable anyway. You know, um, what did he pay for it? And he said, £20. He said, he doesn't even know why he bought it. Um, 
So it says, well, he's probably, you know, if he's got any value, it's probably just for historical value. People like to collect stuff from World War II and things like that. So it's probably got some historical value. But as a tobacco, it's probably not smokable. And he messaged me back. He says, yeah, it, it sounds quite dry in the packet. So. This doesn't want to stay lit, but then I'm not able to tamp it properly because of holding the selfie stick in one hand. Yeah. So I said, like, if it had been in a tin, possibly it would still be airtight and you may be able to smoke it now. In my opinion, I'm not an expert, but... I hate lighting them in the wind. I've burnt a few pipes around the, the rim doing that. I really think that pipe smoking is an indoor activity. Yeah, so I said if it was in the tin, it might be worth something. But I said in those days, they didn't have plastic pouches with airtight seals so I said I think you looked out on that one I don't know you'll probably find somebody on eBay that's willing to buy it for just the historical perspective of it but having said that I think he said it surely said it was his friends not his so it's not his problem But um, he said to me, he'll have to look at some videos on how to smoke a pipe now. I'll give him that little Eaton pipe and I sent him a selection of tobaccos. I sent him a little um, multi-tool and somewhat else, I can't remember what. There's something else I threw in there as well. Um, so I put him on too. I said, look, there's plenty of videos on YouTube how to smoke a pipe. Personally, I recommend looking at Mutton Chop Piper. Excuse me, I've been using some snuff today and it, it's uh, having a little bit of an effect on my nose. <laughs> it was um, Samuel Gore with um, banana snuff, which I think is discontinued. But I got a big tin of it when it was cheap. So let me know if you've got any thoughts, if you think that that tobacco might actually still be smokable. I'd be fascinated to find out, but my suspicion is that it probably won't even be able to be rehydrated. But I certainly wouldn't pay £20 for it. Thanks for watching. Ta-da.